You know, life is all about the stories that you hear and the stories that you tell. The most important part of, I think, being a human, engaging with other people, is being sure that they feel heard. And that's what partly what advocacy is. You hear the stories and you feel like, maybe I can help tell those stories. Maybe I can tell what my part of that story is. Throughout my volunteer work, I've been a big advocate for fairness and access and people being treated equally. My engagement with the LGBT community has added this extraordinary dimension to my life. I'm comfortable talking about things that matter to me and I'm happy to persuade other people they should matter more to them too and they should help support them and so on. She listens and she's just sort of welcoming and inclusive. She brings people in and makes them feel warm and comfortable and kind of fuzzy. She has that little sparkle in her eye where she laughs. At the same time, she was the chair of the board and I was a member of the board of the Chicago Community Trust. And then she stepped in as the interim director when the director left. And she so quickly moved from being a volunteer to being a staff. She has great leadership skills and she has incredible vision. At a time when maybe she could sit back a bit, she, she isn't and she's just become an elected official in her village and has brought her energy and her passion and her commitment to yet another advocacy role. I'm inspired by what I can do to ensure that there is equality and fairness and access, um, that, there's, that that's even better in my, as my grandchildren become adults than it was when, when I was a child. I mean, sometimes you worked on stuff for a long time and you're like, oh God, it just never gets any better. But, but it does. And when you have purposeful people, focused people doing purposeful work, it does get better.